Hi, and welcome back to the Dutch Oven Podcast. I'm Mackenzie Pig, here with... Anya Binkholder. And today, we're talking about basketball. Because <laughs> Anya plays basketball. Yeah. Uh, and if you didn't notice our... Yeah, if you're not... If you're living in, under a rock at Owensville, Missouri... Um, Lane Evans isn't here. Oh, sorry. That's <laughs> not what I was going for. <laughs> That's what yeah. I was going to say. Um, yes, Lane, yeah, yeah, Lane is isn't here. Um, I don't know where he's at, actually. He yeah. didn't respond to any of our emails. None of our emails. So Lane. None of our texts. Lane, if you're seeing this or hearing this, are you okay? You're fake. Is Send what you are. hell. Or <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. Well, um, um, so now we get to run it, and it's basically since we're talking about basketball, um, <laughs> like I think I'm gonna be like the only yeah, one. Yeah, because I never play basketball. I don't know anything about basketball. I watch basketball. That's about it. I don't know. Is this the only camera that's on us? Or is it which one? <laughs> I, I guess we can just like yeah look <laughs> I think it's this one this one this one I think so uh, well it's wh- just showing like this part so I think okay. so we look like idiots waving I waved to this one. Oh, I waved that one away. <laughs> oops anyways sorry <laughs> I'm an idiot but um, um first question about basketball <laughs> Okay, so Anya, since you are our only basketball star in the room at this moment, I will be asking you the questions because okay. I can't ask me any questions about basketball. I'm being interrogated I don't know. today. Real. All right, Anya, when did you first start playing basketball? Um, I'll give you the rundown. So I think I started playing upwards, which is like what you play when you're really young here at a local church. And I think I started playing in first grade and then... You move to booster ball, which is, like, through school in fourth grade, and then you play through, like, actually through the school in seventh grade. So I've been playing since first grade, though. Yeah. And, like, were your coaches the same, or, like, who who were the coaches? No. uh, Through Upwards. Like, just, like, some random kid's parents? Yeah, through Upwards it was parents. Even booster it was parents. But I had the same coaches through booster ball. Mm -hmm. And then middle school and high school were the same coaches. Okay. And those are, like, faculty? Yeah. Okay. Uh, my next question is, how important is basketball to you? Um, it's really, it, it's very important. Not even, like, just the sports aspect of it, mm-hmm. but it's, like. It's a big staple in your yeah, life. Yeah, it's just been, like, the routine of it for the past, even, like, just the high school routine of it the past four years. Mm-hmm. And, like, I don't know. Playing a sport is just, like, it's really different. And it's something I like wish everyone got to experience because you learn a lot about yourself and it's definitely it's very important to a lot of my growth it has been for sure and yeah I feel like basketball has given you a lot of life lessons of, oh, like for per- sure like not just like perseverance and yeah pushing there, yeah all there's all been stuff, a lot of a lot of lessons learned and mm-hmm. they were necessary but they all came a little fast sometimes so <laughs> <laughs> weren't very easy all the time either And, okay, so high school ball, or what's the seasons like for middle school compared to high school? Okay, middle school, I I think you play in the fall in middle school. That's what I think, too. I think girls play in the fall, boys play in the winter. And then, yeah, and then volleyball is spring. spring. Yeah, okay, so switch. Yeah, middle school, it's like two months. You practice just after school. I mean, I don't know. It's been (laughs) four years since I played middle school basketball. It's hard to remember. Um... I think it's I think it's like two months long. It's not a very long season, yeah. and so like with high school, like what's it like with the season being ext- like way longer and even being split with Christmas bl- Christmas break? Um, like yeah. how like does it feel like really long? <laughs> yes, basketball is one of the longest and hardest seasons ever. And I mean, I pl- I play sports in all three seasons, and basketball is by far the longest, especially with how far we went this year. Mm-hmm. But you start in. The, like last week of October, beginning of November, usually those are like split. And then you get, you have like the first two or three weeks and then you get cut off at Thanksgiving break and you have like a three, four day break. And then you go back for another month, half, whatever, month, three weeks, whatever it is. Then you get Christmas break. But on Christmas break, you don't get the three weeks off. You keep practicing But you do get, like, a few days off, and then you come back, and then it's, like, a three-month ride from there, so (laughs) don't really get a break for another three months. Yeah, that's 
So it definitely it's, it's it's long. It's a commitment and ment- not only not only physically hard, but oh for sure. I think honestly, hard. like I would tell anybody that it's more mentally demanding than it has mm-hmm. ever been physically demanding t- for me. Right. Um, okay. So like, did you feel any pressure, like playing in a gym full of people? Honestly, so we played all our district games away. Mm-hmm. And then our only game we had after that at home was our sectionals game. Mm-hmm. And it was that, packed. Yeah, that was the game I was most nervous for. Like, even, like, the game we played at Aurora, I was not nervous for that. I th- I can't play in front of a home crowd because I just freak myself out. Like, that Boonville game, which was the game we played at home, the sectionals game, I did not play good. I <laughs> played a pretty bad game, and I knew going in I was going to because I got in my head about it. And, yeah, so – that was the only time I'd say I was nervous, but honestly, like playing at Aurora was so much fun, and like playing our district champion was so much championship was so much fun. Like I loved the atmosphere. Yeah, and like if you didn't know, for our listeners, our girls' basketball team this year made it all the way to the final four in state, so they got to play at the Mizzou Arena. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome for us. <laughs> um, uh, do you hear the crowd at all during games, or are you just like completely locked in? Um, I wouldn't say I'm completely locked in, but I definitely don't, like, listen to it. Mm -hmm. Like, I know it's going on, and, like, I can hear this stuff, but, like, honestly, most of the time, like, my brother, he goes in the student section, he'll be like, oh, this happened. I was like, oh, I didn't, (laughs) literally had no clue that happened. Like, I just, it's definitely, it's something you have to get used to, but, I mean, I've never played in a crowd that big, but, I don't know, it never really, it didn't bother me. Mm -hmm. Um, and the next question that he has on the thing is, what is like what is playing districts like as someone who has experienced a district loss and district win? Well, okay, so last year and this year were my only years really like kind of being on the varsity team. My sophomore year I was, but like I didn't play. I sat the bench and that's the year we went to the district championship mm-hmm. but we lost. That was definitely heartbreaking, but like I didn't feel it as much just because I wasn't as, as I guess like player. Yeah, I wasn't as yeah. invested, honestly. Like, I just, it it was still hard to watch, and I mean, it was, it definitely it was heartbreaking, but it just, it, I wasn't as invested. And then last year, we lost first round, which. Who was that against? Fatima. And it was a bad game, <laughs> and we shouldn't have lost, or at least not been that far apart. And, I mean, losing first round districts is hard, mm-hmm. and especially because, uh, I was really close with one of the seniors, and to be honest, the only reason I was upset it ended was because I would never get to play with her again, because she was one of them, like, she was one of the reasons I got through that year. It was a hard year for me, but, I mean, I mean, honestly, I was not upset last year, which is, like, bad. Like, I feel like that's bad to say, but I just, I was ready to be done. But this year, like, I don't know, it was just, it was almost, like, unreal. Like, Mm -hmm. it's something, like, you dream of, and, like, I mean, I don't know. It's just crazy. I mean, I remember you saying, oh, like, what was it? Like, a districts game? Or, no, I can't remember what game it was. But you were like, just to make it to the final four would be insane. Like, I don't care if I lose or win that. I mean, obviously, you cared. But, like, yeah. you're like, just to even go would be insane. I, You know what I mean? And yeah. then you guys made it. Yeah. And uh, so, in Owensville, we've had three teams, including us, go to the final four. One was in 1994, and one was in 2016. So, like, we – 2016 was, like, when we were playing, like – upwards booster ball like we were watching these girls go to the final four and like I vividly remember like Haley Disselkamp who plays at Drury like I remember like her and her sister I'm just like wow like Mm -hmm. that's what I want to be like I like like so it's just crazy that when we were little we watched these girls go to state have their name on the wall look at that wall every day and you see 2016 and then you see the name of that team like you're like that's crazy like (laughs) that's something you like you never think you're gonna do that like even like going into this year coach van leer was like i took this job because i know you girls can win he's like i wouldn't take this if i didn't think you guys could win and like honestly i mean like it's always a great thing to hope for but like who's to go and be like yeah we're gonna start the season brand new coach half our team has never played or not never played but never played high school Mm -hmm. ball before like you don't go into that thinking oh we're gonna go to the final four like Mm -hmm. that's just being 100 percent honest like yeah, that's kind of insane. Even, like, I don't know. I feel like the past, like, two months have just been, like, up. 
like, so we lost our union game pretty bad. And, like, that was the only time we ever played like that. Like, we just, we weren't in it, whatever. And then I think that gave us a little a little fire under our butts. And it was kind of just up from there. I mean, we beat St. James, which is a big conference rival. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, I mean, we headed into districts, like, on fire. And, I mean, yep. without, I think without that St. James win to send us off, we, we wouldn't be where we ended up at, but or it would have been a that, lot that game bigger was, battle. That game was good. It was a good game. We played really good that game, and it's always uh, nice to beat someone like that, especially when you've been rivals since uh, Booster Ball. So Yeah, for sure. And it just, like, I don't know, it's crazy to think, like, we've been playing those girls since fourth grade, and mm-hmm. now, like, I don't know, it's just something bigger than, like, anyone ever thought it would be, I think. I agree. Um, so how did you mentally prepare for any of your games? Like, was there any pressure or, um, like, like how was like sleeps the night, sleeping the night before and honestly, so like, I, I think like up until districts, like I really like, didn't like, I wasn't never like ever really like anxious about a game. Like I wouldn't really like. I wouldn't lose sleep over a game. Like, I definitely would, you know, like, think about it throughout the day, whatever. But, like, once we hit districts, like, (laughs) I definitely had a hard time falling asleep. Like, I was was definitely really anxious. And, I mean, it's just, like, a super emotionally, like, you can get super emotionally high or you can get super emotionally low. And, like, we, I definitely, I'm not saying we because I don't know about the other girls, but I definitely experienced both ends of emotions throughout the past few weeks of our district and state runs. And I don't know, I don't really think there's a way for me to prepare. I mean, I think for me, it's literally just being anxious up until literally we get on that floor and we start playing and then like it kind of just all like goes away. Like it's kind of like, I don't know, it's like a movie where it's like, mm-hmm. you know, like you hear all the crowd and then it like gets like blurred out. I don't know, no, like I, when you start I playing, about, like, yeah. I don't know, that's just how it felt like, you know, right. like I'd be so nervous when we first start, like when we first would be warming up and everything, like in the locker room waiting for him to talk, like I was so nervous. And then like we'd get that, get out there and start playing. I'm like, okay, it's just a basketball game. Like <laughs> yeah. it is okay. Right. Um. So like what did like you and your teammates do to prepare for the any games? Like, did you change any like eating, different foods? sleeping or um no we really just we kept the same routine I mean we I mean practices were the same like our practices before game days we would like go over like the scout for the other team like run some of their plays and like you know go over who who's guarding who whatever and then we'd shoot a bit and then we'd do a little bit conditioning and get our bodies moving still and then we would do free throws and it off and that's what we did every single every single practice and I mean it's just good to keep routine and not yeah. change it up just because, you know, it's a, a bigger stage or whatever. Mm-hmm. I agree. Uh, were there any points that you were playing scared the season would end during districts? I don't really think I played scared that it would end. I really don't think I ever, like, like, it was it was a hard thought to process, like, our season could end tonight and I really don't think I ever played like that like I just kept thinking like there's no way our season won today like you just knew that you guys were gonna keep going it just like especially because our placement in the state bracket was really good because we were competitive with all the teams we played even through districts like we were in a competitive district but they were also games we could win like Mm -hmm. I mean like going into that Southern Boone game which was our first like our first district game Mm -hmm. like that was, like, the first, like, hard team we played. Like, not, like – like, that's kind of just set the tone for the rest of our season. Like, that was the t- caliber of team and we're going to And when was play. that district game? Two, three weeks ago almost? I don't know. It was, it was a while ago. But, it yeah. like, it feels like it was forever ago, but it also at the same time doesn't. Our first district game was three weeks ago, which is, like, insane to me. It definitely, like, set the tone for the rest of our our state run because, mm-hmm. I mean, the teams only got better from there. Even They only got more competitive from there. And, I mean, like, I think we really held our own, especially because our size. Like, we have five guards out there. Yeah. Like, I'm 5'5", five, five, and I'm the the biggest person on our team. Like, Is that recording? Does it have to? 
or does he? He's playing it on the computer, and it was yeah, fine. I think we're good. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, it's just like I think we definitely came in as underdogs to the state tournament. I think mm-hmm. people underestimated us, and again, like we have five guards out there, but we held our own. I mean, everyone. Yeah. Everyone on our team was super important. We only have For sure. 10 players plus um, one person who's who was hurt at the beginning of the season. So we have 11, but only 10 can play. And, I mean, three of those girls were underclassmen. Mm-hmm. And w- one of them is a junior who hasn't played since eighth, eighth grade, mm-hmm. who improved significantly over the year. And, I mean, uh, <laughs> I almost said a name. One of my teammates and I that are also senior, I mean, we never – we got more playing time last year, like a little bit. We didn't get a whole ton or a whole bunch. But, I mean, I think we stepped out and we just we showed out. We showed what we are made of and what we can do. And I think even ending this year, we just played with everything we had because that's all you can do. Mm-hmm. I agree. Um, so were the crowds different from regular season to districts moving forward? Oh, 100%. I mean, I I remember going to a girls' game. I couldn't go to a lot because of the boys' games like that. Yeah, you know, and your play and yeah. such. Yeah, the play, yeah. yeah. And so, but I went to a one regular season game here that was home, and the crowd, there wasn't there wasn't a crowd. No. Or there wasn't, like, a student section. There was nothing. It was really quiet except for the parents and everything. But, and then looking, comparing that to, you know, sectionals, the Final Four game, districts I mean it's yeah so different even our senior night like obviously people are busy like I'm not expecting people to be like every game whatever like right but like even our senior night like there was like four people in the Mm -hmm. student section which like in like every game it was like parents grandparents and like nobody else Mm -hmm. (laughs) so like it definitely like regular season and honestly was kind of hard to play in those environments but I mean that's what we were used to like I mean, I've never played in front of a big crowd before, but once we hit districts, like, I thought, like, wow, that was cool. Like, I thought that was cool, Uh but we hit sectionals, and our gym was packed. Like, you couldn't hear anything. Like, I was looking at Coach Maynard in the huddle like this. (laughs) I was standing there like this, because I literally could not hear a word that man was saying, and it was just, like, and we had the band at sectionals through our band, and it was just, like, a whole nother level, and it was so much fun, like, and then, like, going into the Aurora game, like, they had a huge student section. We had a huge student section. There were so many people there. And, like, we <laughs> – so we – our bus parks, and there's a whole line of people outside the doors because they hadn't opened them yet. And we get off the bus, and they all start barking at us and booing at us. And, like, it was, like – <laughs> it was kind of fun. Like, I kind of <laughs> loved it. <laughs> You're kind of, like, laughing. <laughs> it, was so, it was really funny. Like, again, I've never experienced something like right. that. And it definitely, like, gave us some – passion going into that game that we wanted to kind of shut them up (laughs) but it was definitely different vibes uh what was it like playing at the mizzou arena and like did it was it less strange because you guys have played there during regular season i think it was a lot like because we went to the norm stewart classic in november or something like that so like very beginning of our season we played fatima there and i mean it definitely it helped a lot that we had already played there. I mean, we were familiar with, like, even, like, just being, like, in the locker rooms and stuff. Like, it was all the same and, like, playing on the floor. I mean, it was definitely – it was – it definitely helped for sure. Right. Uh, What was the media coverage like for the Final Four? (laughs) I think this was a Mr. T, like – Well, okay. So our first day there was Wednesday, and that was our first game. And so we, like, went in the locker room, we changed whatever, and then we went out to, like, garage sort of thing I don't know it was just a really big open room and they had like one like like uh like that you guys can't see it but it's like a green screen with like a like hanging up I don't know like a backdrop backdrop that's what I'm looking for one of them was like a mission it said like mission on it had different stuff one of them was like a gray background and then we had a place where we took team pictures but like I know like if you oh my god if you go to the state championship like Emma and at Emma and Allie took, like, videos on the Misha green screen through Misha. I can say that because I'm just saying <laughs> that they took a video yeah. or whatever. Like, if we went to the state championship, like, their videos would have been posted, like, with, like, a edit of, like, Owens Little Dutch Girls or whatever. And then, like, I know, uh, like, and then we all took individuals, whatever. And then uh, the f- after the first game, 
Audrey and Emma and Coach Van Leer went to the had like a press conference after the game or whatever and then I know after our game on Thursday I think it was Allie and Emma and Coach Van Leer who went up to the uh, press conference and just stuff like that and then like I just remember uh, the thir- our last game our third place game um, Van Leer was in our huddle and he was like he was yelling at us and the camera was just like hovering over him and he's screaming and like he likes to spit a lot uh, he spits a lot of accident and I'm just like this camera's in his face and he's probably spitting on it right now <laughs> I think the footage of you guys receiving your oh yeah when we your got our medals. your fourth place medals oh uh, and Anya was sobbing <laughs> yeah there's a video like they videoed everyone getting their medals and like I'm literally like sobbing and he I just, I, and then I, like, see him, like, talking to me. I shook my head, and I was like, what did he say? And then I remember he was like, oh, aren't you glad you came back? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, it's so sad. <laughs> like, I yeah. was just, like, again, that was one of those, like, really high emotion emotional things. I mean, like, I was just, I, w- <laughs> I just keep thinking about how many people I cried in front of, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh so, do you prefer playing at the Mizzou Arena or just a high school gym? Um, honestly, I would have preferred to play in a high school gym. Like, mm-hmm. how, like, the sectionals or quarterfinals game was. Like, that was, like, I love that energy, whatever. Because at the Mizzou Arena, I mean. It's a you, large. It's so it, big. Yeah. It, it, like, it can't get loud. Like, yeah. there was Like, not that there wasn't a lot of people. It just felt like there wasn't a lot of people. Yeah. Like, and I, like it's just kind of more awkward, I guess, to have that like noise there but honestly i do like playing on that floor the floor is really nice it's yeah. got a lot of traction <laughs> on it so um sorry let's watch my place oh uh okay so you know obviously when a season's like and you're emotional i mean you invested months into a sport with like your teammates and your coaches and then it just ends but like you know are you like a little like relieved like you just like some stress has been lifted I definitely do because um actually the Friday the day after our last game I played a soccer game and it was just a lot less stressful and I think like I don't know like basketball is so like you have to be focused every second of every moment because like it's like I don't even know how to explain what I'm thinking but like you have to know like like, if I'm guarding a stif- specific girl, like, I have to know if this person is going to throw the ball, she's going to cut over there or whatever. Like, I have to be, like, completely focused. Or, like, if this person's driving down, they need help. Like, I have to go help or whatever. Like, and I think, like, I just, like, am not as, like, confident in myself in basketball as I am in, like, soccer or something. So, like, I'm more comfortable out there in soccer. Like, I just wasn't as confident in myself. I was, like, not scared to mess up, but, like, I was kind of, like, oh, like, don't, like, I was, like, telling myself not to mess up, you know, so it definitely was, it's, it definitely is kind of, it's, like, it is a relief to, like, have, like, the, even, like, just the mental stress of it from, like, because, again, like I said, we go through scouts, and so, like, every day we had a new game, I would Mm -hmm. have to watch film all day, the day before, I'd have to go through the scout, I'd have to memorize all this, I'd have to think about their plays, and so, like, it was just a lot to think about, and I'd, I'd also have, like, I have, like, our plays on top of that, and, like, we were putting in, we were still putting in new stuff, even, like, the week before state and stuff like right so it's just like it's a lot and it's a lot to like stay that focused during the game too so it yeah, definitely I is bet. a bit of a re- relief but also it is it is still sad it is sad um so you know you are a tri-sport athlete in high school I mean you're full four years you have never had an off season so you know moving on to college I know you'll be doing marching band during the pride marching band at Missouri State like how are you gonna fill the void of not having sports um that's definitely one of like the biggest things I'm nervous about coming out of high school is like I'm not gonna have what I used to like I'm not gonna have like Like, obviously you'll have harder classes to be more focused on and you know probably a job and all this and all that but you know it's just like you're not gonna have a team yeah I'm not gonna have like a team and I'm not gonna have like the same like routine and the Mm -hmm. same like uh discipline I guess like Mm -hmm. oh you have to work out this day this day this day like you have to go you have to go to the gym on your own now I know like now I have to discipline myself and like 
eat healthier because like I definitely don't eat healthy because I'm like oh I just worked out like four hours today it's fine I can eat whatever <laughs> but like I'm not gonna be able to do that anymore and I'm definitely I am just really nervous because I know like that's a big thing with athletes is like mental health and like coming out of like being a retired retired athlete or whatever makes me sound old but I'm not old <laughs> but like She's I know like girl. there will be intramural stuff that I can do and like um I don't just go into the gym and holding myself accountable will be difficult but and I know the school I'm going to has a good rec center what about you yeah we MSU has a good rec center and I mean like they have like classes you can sign up for and like Mm -hmm. so it doesn't have to all be like my own like workout like I can go to a class and they can do some rock climbing (laughs) they have a a rock wall yeah Yeah. (laughs) like I don't know I think I mean I'm sure I'll find my place and it'll definitely I mean, be different. I've been right. playing sports literally since, like I said, kindergarten, first grade. So, like, like not doing that anymore after yeah. 14 years. It's, it's going to be weird. It's crazy, yeah. All right. Well, that's all I have. So. Just on you, yep, you know. today. Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, Lane? No, not here. Still not here. Whatever. I guess we shall see you not next week. We have a spring break. So, yeah. maybe two weeks from now. Yeah, we're a little bit on and off with this right now. Yeah. We're, we're all super we're busy. busy. Like, school has just been hectic with all the different stuff going on as the end of year approaches. Yeah. So. so yeah. See you guys. Survive. <laughs> Wait, how do we stop I this? Don't know. Ow. My-